So the end of our class was from 226, we have these uh, cuprate reagents that are interesting because they do a 1,4 addition. So unlike a Grignard, which does a 1,2, right? So again, here's our conjugated system. It's a little different. 1, or 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now a carbonyl is part of this, which is interesting because now we can talk about carbon 2 is more reactive, more electrophilic, more delta plus, because it's directly bonded to the oxygen. But we have resonance structures, right? We have resonance structures where we move electrons up, where carbon-4 is delta plus 2. So carbon-4 is also reactive, but I would say it's not as electron deficient as the carbon that's directly bonded to carbon-2. So we kind of match up electrophiles and nucleophiles at some level. So this Gilman reagent is not as reactive as a Grignard. So it prefers to react at carbon-4. Right, carbon-4. So it's going to do a 1,4 addition. What does that look like? Right? Negative charge on the copper, but really where's the electron density? On the carbons. There's a two-carbon piece, this ethyl piece. So it's going to add to carbon-4. Electrons are going to go there. Move up. This conjugate Michael addition. It's a 1,4 addition. Biggest thing is to make sure we keep track of our carbons. New pi bond here. O minus. We added two carbons there. So if I. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six. At this point, we have an enolate. This is called. We haven't, maybe we haven't talked about enolates yet. We've talked about enols, but not enolates. We'll talk about enolates soon. Step two is H plus. So there's two ways you can do this. You could have the oxygen take it. That would make an enol, which then, of course, you'd just do a ta-ta memorization or a ta-ta memorization. Or you could have it react like this. Electrons come down. It grabs that H, and there's a new CH bond on carbon-3. We get this for our final product, the 1,4 addition product. So what happens to the copper? So the copper is just... Now it's not charged anymore, right? And your lithium plus is balancing your charge. So the copper's just there, copper one, so there's one bond. So this is along for the ride. And then step, this is a step two, so then we do a whole, you reset your charge stuff. Negative charge and a plus charge ends up being, right? Negative and a plus ends up being neutral for the final product.